guys, welcome back to another edition of SoCal Sense. I'm Jeff. I'm Luke. And today we're gonna to be talking about 10 of our favorite date night. Yes, and Valentine's Day date fragrances. Yeah, so <laughs> specifically for Valentine's Day. Yes. Um, so this is, you're taking your girlfriend, your wife, etc., your significant other on a date. And these are some of our favorite date, so actually going on a physical date, yes, yes. fragrances, and yeah. yeah. Um, let's just start with our two that, you guys know we always talk about it, because we love them, and Armani Code Absolute. And Prada Luna Rosa Black. I don't feel like we need to talk much about these no. two. We talk so much about them, because they're literally our go-tos. Yes. They're sexy. Yes. The women love them. Um, yeah, and honestly, these are both, again, they share like a lot of the same like notes. Um, that just has a little bit of a leathery vibe compared suede. to this one. Suede, 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 suede like a dark leather. But yeah, I mean like a little, you know, sweet, uh, like sexy, Tonka, yeah. Coca-Cola-ish vibe. And uh, yeah. They're really good. They're two of the probably the highest rated fragrances on the channel. Yeah. And because of that, we continuously wear them. Yes. So our first two are great. Yes. The next one I'm going to pitch is a new to the channel. We actually haven't had a girl smell this on the channel yet, but it is Yves Saint Laurent's La Nuit de la Homme Eau de Parfum. This came out in last year. It is a darker, warmer, kind of leathery version of La Nuit. Um, it's sexy, it smells really good. Um, it's a darker scent than the original, and it's just a nice alternative to La Nuit. Yes, and then my pick is Givenchy's Gentleman Only Boise. This is like the original Gentleman Only, but with a cacao note, right? So like a chocolatey vibe, dark chocolatey vibe. Yeah. Um, chocolatey woods is how yeah, it chocolatey comes woods. out to me. Um, yeah. So yeah, I mean, I love the the original. This is like a slightly different take on it. Um, so yeah, I mean, good day night fragrance. Yeah, good day night fragrance. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Cool. And the next one I'm picking is another one that has never been featured on the channel. But don't worry, both the ones that haven't been featured so far will be eventually, is uh, Lome Ideal Extreme by Guerlain. Now, I like this way better than the Eau de Parfum version of Lome Ideal. This one is a plum cinnamon fragrance. Um, it comes off a little bit more gentlemanly, so I feel like a gentleman taking his on an upscale date, this one fits perfect for. Uh, it's very sexy, it smells really, really good. I've smelled it on myself and other people and it's always smelled good on them. Um, I think it's a nice, it's our favorite from Guerlain, which is the Ideal Extreme, which came out last year. Really good, really good release. Yes, and then my pick is Spice Bomb, a classic by Victor and Rolf. I actually didn't like this fragrance at first, um, and then it just kind of grew on me. Um, my brother Sean like would wear it, and then like I started smelling it more and more. And like outside, especially, I, it really shines to me. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it's you know, it's it's a fresh kind of like earthy, woodsy spice, you know, vibe. Yeah. 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 Um, and yeah, it definitely you know like I've I've learned to like appreciate it, but I've always gotten lots of compliments from it from the ladies. Um, definitely smells really good on. And you've worn it a lot this year. I've worn it a lot this year, yeah. So, yeah. I'll and it being a cooler up. weather fragrance, yeah. Valentine's Day is cooler weather. Yeah. So. There's like out, outside in general, I would say. So if you're outside at a restaurant, because you know, social distance, outdoor dining. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a good pick. And if you watched our uh, Spice Bomb video, the girls, yeah. that was their favorite one. Yes. The out of all of the spi Spice Bombs. Yes. As we break our bottles. <laughs> the next one that I'm gonna pick, as you guys know, I've hyped this one for basically since I got it, is Parasol and Gold Rush. Um, it's my fragrance of the night right now. It is super sexy, super affordable. It literally kind of reminds me of smelling like gold-ish. Yeah. Like, like think one million, you know, like that yeah. like one million-y vibe, but the gold, the sweet, rich, Tonka, yeah, fizzy. Exactly. It, it smells like it could be a flanker of one million, but yeah. doesn't smell like any of the one million. Yeah, exactly. Um, and we did ha we've tested it on the channel before, and it was Ashley's. She gave it like a nine point five, and it was her second favorite pick of the sexy date night fragrances. And it's really nice, and yes. it is the most affordable fragrance on this list. Yes, definitely. 
Um, and then my pick is uh, Jazz Club from uh, Mason Margiela's replica line. Um, this one, it, it smells like you're in a jazz club. It smells, it has like some cigar, uh, well, they list it as uh, heady cocktails and cigars. Um, but I definitely get leather, I get like tobacco-ish vibes, but like it's sweet and it's, it's rich. Um, I wouldn't wear it in the hot weather. So again, an outdoor date night, something very, in very February, sexy. Valentine's Day, yeah. it's not gonna be hot. Exactly, exactly. So yeah, that's why I picked and it up. Look funny story yeah. about that. So two days ago, me and Luke were at Nordstrom's at night. And while Luke was off doing something else, I was at the perfume counter and a lady went up and she's like, do you guys have jazz club? She's like, I need to get it for my man. She's like, my last boyfriend, we broke up, but this new man needs jazz club. <laughs> and it was really, really funny. Cause she was like, she went all in on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was her like favorite scent. And well, so yeah. jazz club, I mean, women dig great. it. Exactly. And my last of my five is Boss Bottles Intense Eau de Parfum. Now I'm picking this one because it is, Smells like a fizzy apple pie, essentially. Interesting. Um, and what I like about it is it's very light. It is very inoffensive. And it smells like very, like, slightly sexy, slightly sexy, slightly seductive. Like just a little bit of everything where it, it's very inviting. And if you're going on a date for Valentine's Day, just to smell that like, slightly seductive, slightly seductive. Like it's very alluring to the person. I'm gonna recommend this one and I'm only recommending it right now is because it is discontinued, Oh, but it's still affordable. So you can still buy it for affordable online now, but a year from now, not so much. Know, yeah. So recommend it now. Don't wait on it. Don't sleep on it before it becomes too expensive. And it's a good like subtle choice. If you're looking for that subtle date night fragrance. Yes. And then my last pick is Halloween Man Shot, which is another affordable fragrance. Um, this to me, again, is another fragrance in the like one million-ish family. That same yeah. vibe, um, that like sweet, kind of sexy vibe, but still having like that richness and that depth. I believe, what's it, 25 bucks for the bottle? Yeah. Um, yeah, super affordable and it's kind of like, yo, it's, you have something unique too, I feel like, like no yeah. one knows about, you know, Halloween Man. So it's like, you're not, not many other people are gonna be wearing what you wear, so. If you want a unique fragrance that you smells know, good, yeah, it smells really good. When we tested it on the channel, all the girls really liked it. I think it was the favorite yeah. of most of them yeah. from the Halloween line. Yeah, so Halloween Man shot really good, uh, you know, sexy Valentine's Day fragrance. Yeah. yeah. So speaking of Valentine's Day, the number one most important thing in picking out your fragrance though is choose the one that your girlfriend or wife or significant other. Likes the best. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So always go with what they like. Um, if you're not sure, that's when you can play around with these. These are just some of our favorites. Um, but yeah, any any fragrance tips for them for the Valentine's Day? Yeah, I think you pretty much covered it and nailed it. Yeah, always just make sure you know if even if you may like a, a fragrance the best, you know if she doesn't like it, then you know doesn't it matter. Does, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So always make sure you you get her opinion. You know. So I mean. It's, I mean, that's always, I feel like the worst for me is like when I really like a fragrance and like, you know, a girl like doesn't like that one. Like, right. she's like oh, I hate the, what's, like what was the, in Sauvage, the main note, the Ambroxan. Yeah. Who was it on our channel that hated Jade? So Jade. She like hated Ambroxan. That's like in so many fragrances that like we love. So right. it's like a but girl But then like we were that, able yeah. to find one that she liked and it was yeah. like, okay, I like that one too. Yeah, yeah. Great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So but, I'm like, don't wear Sauvage, but wear Blue de Chanel. Yeah, yeah. So, so, but yeah, I mean, Make sure she likes it. That's the number one thing. Yeah, if she doesn't like it, it's, it's <laughs> yeah. not. Or if she's allergic to fragrances, because yeah, there are be actually careful. yeah, there are some girls that are that I've met. My friend's mom was actually like extremely like severely allergic, and I was wearing it like I was in eighth grade, and she was like sneezing like all crazy, and had to leave the house. I had to switch. Clothes. It was pretty bad. Yeah, but that's a very rare case. And then know your <laughs> fragrance too. So yeah. like Prada Black. Yeah is very soft, yeah. projecting. You can wear a lot of it exactly. and not feel bad. Exactly. Where if you took something like uh, Yves Saint Laurent's La Nuit de L'Homme Eau de Parfum, it is much heavier and I would not spray nearly as much. So I would tend to go four or under with this one where you could go 10 yeah. on this one and feel confident the entire night. Yeah, cool. Um, so, yeah, awesome. So happy Valentine's Day. Yes, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.